Hi, I'm DJ Ware. I'm going to be looking at uh, the NAS Builder today. That's a tool that's been released. I think it was released either yesterday or today on Newegg. So let's just go over and kick the tires on it a little bit. There we go. So this tool allows me to select uh, from a list of manufacturers that they have. So I, uh, you can set, I think by default, the first time you come in, it shows you this page. Uh, and so that you can select, you know, I'm looking for, well, I'll just say all, and then do a save on it. And then our manufacturers that we have to choose from are Synology, QNAP, Asus Tor, and uh, TerraMaster, and IO Safe. So you can you can narrow down your search. You can go to from one bay all the way up to eight. Uh, if you have needs for a particular uh, networking, you can do that from yeah. Let's let's say we want ten gig. Uh, well, that narrowed us down to one, didn't it? So okay. So this is an Intel Core i three and a four bay. Kind of pricey, but you know, uh, depends on I guess what it is. It's I don't know which core i3 that is, it's an 8100, so that's kind of an old processor that's in there. I'm, I'm not saying it won't work, it most certainly will work. Um, I don't know how much memory this comes with, but I guess we can find out. Probably 2 gig, I'm guessing. Oh, this has Thunderbolt. So I have a choice between a 10 gig connection and a Thunderbolt 3 connection. This is 20 gig per second. Um, yeah. Whereas that's only 10. So <laughs> if I was connecting this to a single machine, I'd probably go Thunderbolt. But that's a nice... A nice uh, a nice option. Memory, where's the memory? Four gig. It says four gig. Okay. So that's probably PCIe 3 and then SATA 3 for the connection. I don't see I don't see SAS, but of course these are consumer and that would be very unlikely to have SAS devices in these. Okay. So all right, let's uh let's see what hard drives we can get to fit with this. Oh, wait, let me put the select in there first. Okay, so we have capacities from 18 terabytes and higher. Uh, we can go 12 to 16. Now, I, so in my experience of looking for drives, these down here are going to be more expensive than these up here, which is kind of strange. I mean, you can see that one of them here, this is an 8 terabyte that's selling for 114 That's not a bad deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not a bad deal. You got a 16 terabyte Iron Wolf and a 12 terabyte for 189 Let's just take a look through here and see what we got. Six, six ter yeah, see these, these prices, 139 For a six terabyte, and I can get a twelve for one eighty nine. And you kind of have to play the game, right? All right, let's do this. Let's get them all at this kind of in the same ballpark. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine. They do all watch each other, don't they? That's a pretty good jump. Three fifty nine. Uh, Three oh nine. 22, there's a purple drive. Those are, I believe, for cameras. They're kind of all over the map, aren't they? I think, personally, the best deal is the 18th, this one right now. I wonder if I can get two of them, or do I only get one for this price? Let's find out. I have four at that price. Nice. So, okay, this is kind of a nice thing here, is that it's computing what your watts would be. Does it tell you that? Yeah, it does. So the unit is taken 37, 
And then, yeah, these are a, generally uh, hard drives are about 10 watts each. At least that's been my experience. Or they range somewhere around in that area. So, yeah, that's good. those are going to kick you up. So, and you could play what if analysis in here if you, you know, if I want to reset the drives. I want to get rid of that. Let's try something else. Let's see, isn't this last number, the 21, isn't that the year? So there's one from 22. That one is an AMD Ryzen. Let's, it's got 8 gig of memory, 30, but can go up to 32 gig. All right. Uh, I'm just curious what it actually has for specs. I know that a lot of these you can add on 10 gig cards to these. Uh, four ports. Do I have a card on the back? Let's take a look. Uh, it looks like I do. So we can do that. Let's add that one then. And then we'll go to my drives. We'll do the same thing. So, I mean, but then that's what this tool is for, is to, I hope you enjoyed this. Kind of a, kind of a, uh, <laughs> a quick look, kind of a quick look at a configuration tool. And, uh, yeah, so it, maybe this is for you, maybe it's not. But, you know, you have, they have um, hardware from a number of hardware vendors and the hard drives as well. Uh, you, you, of course, can also put in SSDs, but they're SATA. I would like to see a NAS configurator that was based on NVMe for the desktop or for the for the uh, for the network. Um, of course, you you would be hard pressed to get across a network with NVMe at 10 gig. Yeah, but you know, it, if it was connected directly to your workstation, definitely would make a difference. So, anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed this really short look at. Uh, the NAS Builder tool from Newegg. What's my opinion on it? I think it's a little limited. There, There is certainly more players in the market than this. And uh, yeah, so I would still urge urge you to go and shop around uh, besides going with the, the, uh, the, the safe choices. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to skin a NAS cat, including just building it yourself, which is what I did. I just built it myself. Um, there's still some, and I use ZFS to do it. So, yep. If you if you want to take the time and do it that way, it's not a bad way to go. Um, I've been running ZFS since 2017 now. I think it was toward the end of 2017. So yeah, it, yeah. I think it was like right around Christmas time when I did it because the dry prices were on sale. Uh, yeah, on the Black Friday sales was when I got it. So, uh, yeah, so it's coming up on 6. Yep. Hope to see you all again real soon. Please like and subscribe, and bye for now.